In a, in a recent speech, he's talked about fair share. I hate that expression with a passion. Crying hedge fund billionaire Leon Cooperman is back. This is the guy that about a year ago, as I covered, was on CNBC crying over the idea of a wealth tax. I will link to this video above on YouTube if you want to check this out. It is hilarious, but we now have a uh, nice sequel to this. Leon Cooperman on CNBC whining over the idea of him having to pay his fair share. Right now, President Biden is tackling the easy things. All of us want to get the virus behind us, right? So anything he does to battle the virus is universally welcome. When he starts talking about raising tax on capital gains, raising tax on ordinary income, in, he, in a recent speech, he's talked about fair share. I hate that expression with a passion. What does fair share mean? I've said in your program numerous times, basically, I'm willing to work six months a year for the government and six months for myself, which means a marginal tax rate of 50%. You live in California, Connecticut, New Jersey, New York, you're really well past that. Okay, and this fair share is a bullshit concept. It's just a way of attacking wealthy people. And, you know, I think it's inappropriate. We all got to work together and pull together. All right. So in the same sentence, he says that fair share is a bullshit concept, just a way to attack wealthy people. And then finishes the sentence by saying that we all have to work together and pull together. But that's exactly why you have to pay your fair share so that we can all work together, pull together. You're not pulling your weight. That's the problem. Let me show you, I mean, these two headlines back to back show you exactly what the problem is. This was posted by Anita Melinda. You can go and look up these headlines online if you wanna read more. But this was posted on uh, January 26, 2021. Billionaires made 3.9 trillion during the pandemic, enough to pay for everyone's vaccine. A day before, this was the headline. Workers lost 3.7 trillion in earnings during the pandemic. Women and Gen Z saw the biggest losses. Workers lost 3.7, billionaires gained 3.9. Workers lost 3.7, billionaires gained 3.9. These are connected. This is why billionaires have to pay their fair share. Did billionaires work that much harder during the pandemic to earn the 3.9 trillion? Why, what, what, workers weren't working hard? That's why they lost 3. Point trillion, uh, 3.7 trillion? No. This is just the way the system is set up. You have people working multiple jobs and still struggling to live. How does that make any sense? Meanwhile, you have billionaires sitting in their ivory towers, making trillions during the pandemic, barely moving their fingers. I mean, it, it shows you just how rigged the system is. And this is why the wealthiest have to pay their fair share. Now, it's also important to say here, look, if, if you are a successful I don't know if you're a successful uh, business leader and you made 500,000 last year, this is not about you. You have to understand the difference between billionaires and people that have, you know, a million dollars. There is a massive gap there. So we're specifically talking about billionaires, especially hedge fund billionaires like Leon Cooperman, who just sits at his desk pushing buttons and makes billions of dollars. Like these people that barely do any work, this is why they have to pay their fair share. Now, a little more here. So just to give you some, some context in terms of marginal tax rates and where they used to be. So Vox writing here, historically, the U.S. used to have many more tax brackets and the top marginal tax rates were extremely high. Under Eisenhower, the top earners paid a 91% marginal tax rate, falling to Ocasio-Cortez's proposed 70% under Kennedy and Johnson before falling to 50% after Ronald Reagan's first big tax cut, and then down to 38% after the 1986 tax reform. So top earners used to pay a 91% marginal tax rate. Now, yes, of course, there were loopholes. Most of them did not pay that 91%, but understand it is nowhere near that today. So back then putting aside the obvious when it comes to um, systemic racism, there was more equality among earners. Yet today you have billionaires making all of this money while workers are losing all of that money. Now, Bernie Sanders, of course, responded to the sad billionaire saying, oh, look, another billionaire is mad that he might have to pay more taxes while children in America go hungry and veterans sleep on the street. Cry me a river. Yes, we will make Wall Street billionaires pay their fair share of taxes and create an economy that works for all of us. And Bernie Sanders has referenced uh, this crying billionaire before. 
He's had an ad out during uh, the campaign that referenced him as sad billionaire. <laughs> uh, this man, uh, it's just, it is incredible how disconnected some people are from reality. But when you spend that much time in your ivory tower making a ton of money, not mingling with the average person, you really have no idea what the hell is going on. And this is the only way to bring these people back down to earth is to actually make them pay their fair share. And even still, they're not going to be brought. To, these people are never going to be brought to the point where they're working two or three jobs. So this is like the one thing they have to understand here is this guy doesn't need billions of dollars. Nobody needs a billion dollars. So if they're taxed more, it's not really a big deal. It's not going to impact him at all. And all it's going to do is help everybody else. Now, more here on Leon Cooperman specifically, as uh, this story from uh, 2017, Leon Cooperman's hedge fund settles insider trading case. This guy is so greedy that he didn't think he was making enough as a billionaire. He had to try and cheat the system to make even more. And what little regulation there is in the system actually caught him and he had to pay back that money. Yeah, that's why you got to pay your fair share. One last thing here. Um, just showing you that all these billionaires look out for each other. Interactive Brokers chairman was just asked why they halted trading, quote, honestly, to protect ourselves. Are we ready to eat the rich yet? Yeah, um, this is in reference to um, halting trades when it came to uh, GameStop. I covered that story yesterday, basically as a way to protect wealthy hedge funds. So they can rig the rules when it comes to them. If they're losing money, they will do everything they can to change how the system works to benefit themselves. But if the system screws the average person, workers lose $3.7 trillion. Many people out of work, of course, have no health care, barely surviving. Oh, that's perfectly fine. We can't change the system. It's how it works. When a few individuals make a little money over the course of three days, oh my God, turn everything off. We got to change it back to benefit the billionaires. It is absolutely disgusting.